G'day Bonnetters. Today I'm going to show you a really cool stitch called the bobble stitch. Now of course there are many different varieties of a bobble type stitch on a bond knitting machine, but this is just one of them. As you can see it's got fantastic texture and um, a very nice 3D sort of effect. This is a bird's eye view and the reverse is just as pretty and just as 3D. Of course you can experiment with uh, colours and create all sorts of designs. Imagine that for example at the bottom of a baby blanket. It looked really cool. In this example I've cast on 30 stitches and knitted a few rows. What we're going to do is choose the centre three needles and put those out as well as every other needle on the left hand side into forward hold position. Knit across, put those stitches now in forward hold position and reverse the carriage. With your triple transfer tool select the centre three stitches and transfer them over. Grab your yarn and starting from the front wrap the yarn around five times. With the grey front pegs of your knitting machine use those to help push those strands back to the base of your tool. Now carefully transfer and ease those stitches and wraps onto the needles. Once you have done this pick up the strand and manually knit those three stitches. Once you have done this, return those three needles back into forward hold position and feed the yarn back into the carriage ready for knitting the rest of the row. Place those needles into forward work position and ensure the latches are open. Knit across. Now we're going to create a bobble to the left of the centre. So here's my th first three stitches. I'm going to choose the very edge of that third bobble and pull out two extra needles for my bobble. Knit across. Place those needles back into forward hold position and reverse the carriage. It's a very similar process to adding that first bobble. The only difference is because we're adding two bobbles on this row we have a definition stitch in the center. Wrap five times, push the wraps back, place wraps and stitches onto the needles and manually knit those three stitches. You are also going to manually knit that center definition stitch. And now repeat the process with the following three needles. Place all of those needles now back into forward hold position and again lay the yarn back into the carriage ready to knit the rest of those stitches on the row. Place in forward work position ensuring the latches are open and knit across. Now the next bobble you will make is exactly as per our first bobble which is back in the middle. It's the centre one. Once you have finished this, you knit one full row back so that you end up with your carriage onto the right hand side. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that perhaps you get to use this stitch in one of your future projects. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and subscribe so that if I have a new stitch to share with you, you'll be the first to know. Until next time.